Why don't Ahmadis celebrate Eid Milad al Nabi, meaning the birthday of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him? If you're talking about cutting a cake, if you're talking about going out into the streets and having parades, singing, dancing, and all of that stuff, then no, we don't celebrate it in this way. But when it comes to celebrating the life, the achievement, the teachings, the character of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, then yes, we certainly, certainly do believe that we do celebrate that. If you look at the lifetime of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, 40 years was his age when God Almighty commissioned him to be the prophet of the age. After that, 23 years we have a period where he showed with his examples how we are supposed to live our life. Not even once did he call and gather the companions and said, well, today is my birthday, let's celebrate. And it's not just that. He has told us that if you follow my companions, follow my Sahaba, then you will be rightly guided because they're like the stars. So if we move on after the demise of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, again, not a single example where the Khulafa or the companions or the followers who were close to the companions and close to the time of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, where they came together and celebrated in the way that we see Muslims all around the world celebrated today. Secondly, when it comes to celebrations, we do have Jalsa Sirat al Nabis, where we don't celebrate the birthday, but we celebrate the life, the character, the legacy left behind by the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. What was his character all about? How should we as Muslims behave? What should we give our children in training, in moral training? What is the importance of prayers? What was the relationship that he had with God Almighty? What is it that we can learn from that life? So that's certainly, certainly something that we do celebrate. And it's not just on one day of the year. Throughout the year is a celebration for us by sending durood onto the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. So that's what celebration is all about. What is it that we can learn? What is it that we can impart to the next generation to come? So yes, we do celebrate the life of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, by not cutting a cake, by not going out into the streets, but by thinking, reflecting and implementing the things and the teachings that he left behind for us.